Hey everybody, today I'm going to be going over how to find your game object in-game through your script. So in a previous uh, tutorial I showed you how you can import your game object as a variable into your script. This one is going to be different because your script's actually going to go out and find the game object that it needs instead of you having to pass it in. Uh, this is very useful if you have a bunch of different game objects that you need to do something with at a time. And instead of having to locate them and pass them in um, manually, you can just have your script do all the hard work for you. It's also good if you don't know uh, when objects are up. So if you have something like a, um, a bunch of enemies that spawn randomly and then at the end of the wave how many enemies are left, you lose points. Well, instead of having to have every enemy be uh, when a creator be passed into a list or something like that, you can just use at the end of a round, find game objects with tags, and um, count how many are up. Um, so there's many different uses for this, and it is really useful for certain things. You can still use the old method of passing it in for uh, simple scripts that need to access that one specific thing. Um, but you know, let's just jump right into it. Uh, and look at the scene. So with the scene, I have five different cubes. And the idea of the scene, or six different cubes, sorry. Um, and the objective of the scene is to make this cube find with peg red, and then make the following cubes, the find with tags cube, blue. So before we jump in the script, we just gotta do a little bit of thing. We gotta tag them. So what are tags? Well, if we click on an object, right underneath the name, you'll have tag. All objects when you create them are are usually untagged. Um, the main camera, when you first create a scene, will be defaulted to main camera tag. But other than that, most things come untagged. So to tag a object you just want to take this drop down and you can tag it to some of the built-in ones or you can add your own personal tag uh, so do that you click on add tag and then you'll click this little plus button here and then you can name it so I'll name this one uh, red Oops. I'll name this one red and then I'll make another one and name it blue and so when we go back to our object, they'll still be untagged, but when we open the drop-down menu, we'll see red and blue. So this one, this one square, I want it to be red, and the following cubes, I want it to be blue. So yeah, if you select a bunch of different objects at one time, you can change the tags all at once, which is really useful. So that's all we need to do in scene, so let's jump into code. So to get your game objects, you have to have uh, something to put them into in your script. So we're going to need two private variables. We want game object. And we'll call this red cube. Uh, I'm really bad. I need to check to see which one needs to be which. All right, so the single is going to be red on top. And then we need to make a list for the blue cubes. Let's call it blue cube. So that first game object is going to hold our single red cube, or it's the single cube that we're going to turn red. And the game object array is going to hold all the cubes that we're going to be turning to blue. So on start, we want to add objects to these variables. And the way we do that is to make them equal to a game object dot find game object with peg for this one because it's only a single object that we want to get. So we want to make sure we select with peg. And then for our blue cubes we want game object dot find with objects with peg. See the other one we used was object. This one's object because there's multiple objects and we're adding it to 
a array. So right there, that's going to, as soon as we start up, it's going to go and find the game objects and set them to those variables. Now, we just go red cube, dot component, Uh, we want the, oops, don't need the quotation marks. We want the renderer. Uh, material. Color. We want to make it equal to color. Dot. Red. And that will make that one cube red. And then we want to go for, we want to go each year. For each game object, object in cube, basically take this exact same line and change this to object this to. And that should do it. So on, we're going to start it up. It's going to find the single object that's tagged with red and put it into this uh, variable red cube. And then it's going to find all the game objects that are tagged with blue and then put them into the array we created called blue cube. Then we're going to make our red cube that we found red. And then we're going to go through that array and make each one of the cubes that we put into blue cubes, and we're going to change the color to blue. So let's let it load up there and make sure that you have the script actually on some sort of object in your scene. Like I have mine sitting on the main camera. Start it up. And as you see, our cube that is tagged red. We changed the material and now it's red. And then all the cubes that were tagged blue were made to be blue. If we go back and change up which one would be tagged red, okay, change this one to red, they'll all be changed blue besides this one. So that is tags and finding objects with tags in a nutshell. If you have any questions about the topic, leave a comment down below, or if you would like to ask a question for my next tutorial, feel free to leave that in the comments as well. Thank you and have a great day.